Three Australian Navy officers have become the first in their service's history to qualify in the UK as nuclear engineers, after undergoing nine months of intensive training delivered by the Royal Navy. The training, delivered as part of the AUKUS Agreement, a pact between the UK, US and Australia to build a new generation of nuclear-powered submarines, saw the Australian officers train alongside their Royal Navy counterparts on HMS Sultan in Gosport. Vice Admiral Mark Hammond, Chief of the Royal. Australian Navy and a submariner, said, this graduation marks a significant step forward for the Royal Australian Navy's ability to operate, maintain and support Australia's future nuclear-powered submarine capability. The three officers, identified only as Lieutenant Commander James, Lieutenant Isabella and Lieutenant Steve, will now serve on the Royal Navy's astute-class submarines while gaining practical experience to complement their studies. Lieutenant Commander James will now be assigned to the Royal Navy's newest hunter-killer submarine, HMS Agamemnon, which is nearing completion in Barrow, he said. The experience of taking her beyond construction, through trials and training will be vital to our future program. The training involves students undergoing six months of intensive academic study covering subjects such as nuclear physics, thermodynamics, and nuclear safety management. This is followed by three months of practical work where they learn the inner workings of nuclear systems and complete control room simulations to respond appropriately to potential incidents and emergencies. Lieutenant Joe Roberts said the course was one of the most intensive in the Royal Navy, with many students dropping out. This is a course that demands the best and the brightest, and Australia has sent them three exceptional students who will excel, he said. It's an honor because they are the pioneers of AUKUS. They will go on to lead their country's future nuclear submarine program. Their success marks a significant milestone in developing the skilled workforce needed to operate Australia's future, conventionally armed nuclear submarine capability being developed under the AUKUS Trilateral Security Partnership between the UK, Australia, and the USIT was a key topic on the agenda during the Prime Minister's first conversation with his counterpart, Anthony Albanese, during his inaugural weekend in office. The leaders also discussed key challenges facing the region, including strategic competition, climate change, and agreed to build on the already strong AUKUS partnership.